the last subtopic for today. Okay, learning the last subtopic and the last learning standard. Okay, apply the understanding of measures of central tendencies. Okay, ada tiga tadi kan nak belajar. Okay, mid medium mode to make prediction, form convincing argument and conclusion. Okay, so. Okay, in making comparison or selecting the most appropriate measures of central tendency, the importance of the range should be taken into consideration. Okay. Okay, so let's look at the first example. Okay, Encik Rahman would like to choose a school representative for the game of bowling at the zone level. Ramesh and Kyril are among those who have been shortlisted in this selection. In the last five exercises prior to the selection, Ramesh's score was 116, 118, 200, 207 and 209. Kyril's score was 240, 240, 75, 220 and 75. Which player will be selected at the school representative? Ha, kita ada dua calon di sini yang akan mewakili sekolah untuk pertandingan bowling. Dan ini mata dia. Okay, so contohlah awak sebagai cikgu. So awak nak pilih siapa yang sesuai jadi wakil sekolah. Okay, so kita kira dulu. Okay, the main for Ramesh. Okay, so Ramesh we have 116 plus 118 plus 200 plus 207 plus 209 divide by 5 okay sebab ada lima mata kan 1 2 3 4 5 okay so we get 850 divide by 5 and your answer is 170 points okay next kita kira min untuk kyril so 240 240 Plus seventy five plus two two zero plus seventy five divided by five. Okay, and you will get eight five zero divided by five. Dapat one seven zero. Alamak, sama. Ha, macam mana ni? Okay, Ramesh and Kyrie both have the same min score. Okay, so both players have the same min score. Okay, therefore. The mean cannot be used in the decision for the selection for school representative. Okay, so apa yang kita boleh buat? Kita cuba kira dia punya range. Okay, so range. Okay, you take the highest value minus the lowest value. So we have two zero nine minus one one six. Okay, equals to ninety three. Then for Kyrill, the highest is two four zero. Minus seventy five, and you will get one six five. Okay, now, kita ada dua nilai di sini. One smaller range, one is bigger range. Okay, when it comes to range, okay, kita berminat. We are interested to look into the smaller value. Okay, itu bermaksud. Okay, macam uh, Ramesh ni kecil kan? Maksud dia beza performance dia tu tak jauh. Uh, okay, sedang-sedang je dia punya beza. Kalau Kyril besar. Sebab dia ada sebelum ni rendah je dia punya score. Lepas tu tiba-tiba tinggi. Macam range dia tu terlampau besar. So, tidak konsisten. Uh, okay, sebab tu kita boleh katakan Ramesh yang boleh dipilih sebagai representative yang sesuai sebab markah dia lebih konsisten. Okey di sini kita bercakap tentang konsisten. Okey. The smaller the value of your range is the more consistent of your data. Okey. Eh, okey now let's look at the next example. Okey example 26. Okay, Encik Johan, who is a teacher, formed three basketball teams. The table below shows the total number of goals scored by the team in five competition. Okay, so ni kita punya table. Okay, so you want to join one of these teams. 
Given the mean, which team will you join? Justify your answer by showing the working. Okay, two. If you consider the median in the making a decision, in making a decision, which group would you choose? Explain by showing your working. Okay, next B. If Encik Johan was asked to submit a report of the achievement by Team Harimau to the school principal, which measures of central tendency should by Encik Johan choose? Explain. Okay, now kita cuba buat dulu. Okay, contohlah yang pertama tadi. Dia kata kalau kita nak gunakan min, kita nak masuk yang mana satu. Okay, so contoh. Ha, kita kira min kijang. Okay, kijang berapa min dia? Ha, kita kira lah. Okay, so kita ada 65 plus 95 plus 32 plus 96 plus 88 divided by 5. Okay, you will get 75.2. Okay, mean for Harimau, 50 plus 90 plus 65 plus 87 plus 87 divided by 5. Okay, you will get 65.8. And for Seladang, the mean is 90 plus 85 plus 46 plus 44 plus 80. Divide by 5 and you will get 69. Okay, kalau based on mean, okay, mean mana yang paling tinggi? Harimau, 75.8. Okay, so kalau awak consider mean for joining the team, so you will choose Harimau because Harimau have the highest mean. Okay. Okay, next. Okay, next tadi apa? Uh, if you consider the median. Okay, kalau kita consider median pula. Okay, so kalau median. Okay, apa syarat utama median? Kena susun ikut ascending or descending. Order, okay. So kita susun untuk kijang. So we have thirty-two, sixty-five, eighty-eight, ninety-five, ninety-six. So median is okay, berapa median? Tengah-tengah. Eighty-eight. So the median is eighty-eight. Okay. For harimau, we arrange. We have fifty, sixty-five, eighty-seven, eighty-seven, and ninety. So the median, lambi yang tengah-tengah, is eighty seven, okay. And team Seladang, forty four, forty six, eighty, eighty five, and ninety. So our median is tengah-tengah, eighty, okay. So kalau based on median. Okay, tim yang mana satu yang awak akan join? Okay, so based on median. Okay, ah, the selected team is Kijang. Okay, because it has median of. 88, the highest median out of all three teams. Okay. And the last question, apa? If Encik Johan was asked to submit a report, okay, yang mana satu yang sesuai? Okay, so first kita check dulu. Ada tak extreme values? No extreme values kan? Dia lebih kurang, lebih kurang sama je. Uh, dekat 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 je kan uh, 50 65 so kalau no extreme values okay which one will we choose uh, mean okay because because okay mean uses the 
entire set of data in the table. Therefore, okay, mean is the most appropriate because uh, there is no extreme value in the set okay boleh okay okay last uh, example okay the bar chart above shows food selection at school canteens in january and february from a study conducted on 400 students okay so ni january ini adalah fab will be on the same 400 students okay a which measure of central tendencies is appropriate for a birth situation explain uh, kalau ada yang baba macam ni yang lebih sesuai adalah amoid okay uh, dia nak explain kan amoid because Okay, kita boleh katakan, okay, mode, okay, from the graph, okay, mean and median are not suitable. Uh, kita boleh katakan, okay, mode because uh, this is a bar chart. It is easy for us to see the highest frequency ya boleh juga tak ada masalah okay next B okay do you agree with the birth statement explain your reason nasi lemak is the favorite dish of students okay B uh, setuju tak setuju lah yes okay because okay nasi lemak is the mode for January and February Boleh? Mudah saja kan? Okay, last one C You are a canteen committee member of the Consumer Association You are asked to suggest a type of food that needs to be reduced Give your reason Okay Yang mana satu yang harus dikurangkan Daripada graf ni bihun lah Sebab bihun yang paling rendah Pembelian dia kan Bihun Goreng should be reduced. Okay, due to its lowest frequency in both months. Uh, boleh? Uh, okay. So, uh, dalam chapter ni awak dah belajar measures of central tendencies. Kita dah belajar mean, median dan mode. Okay. Selain daripada awak belajar mengira macam mana nak mencari min, median dan mod Awak juga dah belajar macam mana kita nak gunakan min, median, mod on a certain situation Okay And which one is appropriate measures of central tendency in different situation ha, Awak kena tahu membuat keputusan Yang mana satu lebih sesuai based on different situation Okay boleh? Okay So kalau boleh uh, Okay Saya nak awak cuba buat Okay Self practice 12.1 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 uh, Cuba buat 10 soalan ni dulu Okay Boleh So uh, The 10 question Okay, I want you to do it uh, next class. Okay, so sesi untuk next class kita akan uh, saya akan bagi masa awak untuk buat 10 soalan ini. Okay, dan kita akan buat perbincangan lah di dalam telegram group kita. Okay, so I think that's all for today. So thank you very much. See you next time.